Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a H&M unboxing and I don't think I've ever filmed a just H&M haul so I'm really excited. I'm really on the hunt for inexpensive knitwear that's also good quality so I'm hoping that there's some good bits in here to show you guys. I haven't opened anything yet but I wanted to say that this video is kindly sponsored by Shop Tagger. Now you guys know I've worked with Shop Tagger a couple of times before. I will leave those video links down below if you guys want to go and have a watch and Shop Tagger is a web app that enables you to see when an item that you've selected either comes back into stock or goes on sale. For someone like me who's an avid shopper, nothing can be easier and it really has made my shopping more efficient, especially when I do these videos for you guys and I find items that I love. So I actually wanted to give you guys an example. So I have one item from H&M that I've bought previously that I haven't got around to showing you guys. And this is the kind of thing that I would use Shop Tagger for. So this is a stunning pleather skirt from H&M Trend. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have this. And I actually had a night out that I wanted to wear it for, so that's why I desperately got it, but I haven't even worn it yet. It still has the tag. So I could have definitely used Shop Tagger in this instant. Something like this would be great if it went in the sale, because like I said, it's not something you're gonna wear all the time. So in order to download Shop Tagger, all you have to do is click the link down below and download the Shop Tagger browser button. A good time to use Shop Tagger would also be during Black Friday, because you know Know that Shop Tagger will tell you about all the amazing deals that you can get your hands on without you having to do all the work. So when you have an item that you love, so for example, I've got this pair of boots that I've got my eye on that I just can't stop thinking about. Once you've downloaded the Shop Tagger browser button, you go on the item and you click the button and Shop Tagger will save it for you. Once it's saved, Shop Tagger will then send you notifications either by email or on your phone, letting you know when the item has come back into stock or gone on sale. Now, if that doesn't make your shopping easier, I don't know what will. And the great thing about it is you can also select things like different sizes. So if you wanna be really specific on a size of an item, also color if there's an option so you can really tailor it to you and you can also select things like how much you want the item to go on sale by so that you've got the option of any 25% or 50 so it really is easy I've also got different wish lists on my shop tagger so for example this one I'm just gonna save it as things I must have because um, there's certain things at the moment that I just really want but you know how it is too much shopping and sometimes you do just really want to get a good deal so definitely go and check out shop tagger I will leave the link down below and let me know when you guys have tried it. I've scored some great things if you've watched my previous videos so definitely definitely go and check it out and now we're going to move on to the haul. So as I said this was the one piece was the skirt and it's literally gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it out so I will definitely try this on for you and let's move on to the haul. So on this very gloomy day I have my scissors at the ready. So here is my box and it's sealed. This came the other day and I'm very, very excited to open it. The lighting in this video is literally going to make me weep, but there is nothing I can do. It's so gloomy outside. Okay, we're in. The main thing, like I said in this video, is knitwear. As you can see, I love my knitwear and there's quite a few colors in here. So here we go, I'm really excited. First one, I feel like it was the one I was most excited about. I will have all these pieces linked down below and I will obviously try them on. But this is, I think I've got three or four pieces of knitwear. I definitely have three in here. So first one is this gorgeous color. You might have seen that I had a similar color in a previous video, but oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God. Oh, I got a size slightly bigger. I should have got the extra small small. I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. It's fine. But I got this gorgeous blue jumper and it's got a slight neck, like high neck, um, as opposed to like the one I'm wearing now. But I'm loving these like pinky, like they look like baby colors. Like this is like the generic baby blue and this is like the total generic baby pink that you would get for little babies. But um, yeah, I really, really liked it. It's got a neck, like I said, that's higher. I swear I would put the size extra small small in my basket, but evidently not. And the sleeve is really nice, like it goes a bit tapered, which I really like. Um, it's kind of similar here, but I think it's a bit more ballooned than the one I'm wearing now. The one I'm wearing now, by the way, is from And Other Stories. I will link it down below. And I also got some new earrings from them, which I'm obsessed with. And it's these little hoops with like tiny little diamantes. So Yes, I'm enjoying my shopping at the moment. I can't remember how much this was, but I will leave it here and I will link it down below. So that is jumper number one. 
Oh my god, I'm so excited about this one. Did you see my face? This is jumper exhibit number two. It's pink, but it's a different shade to the one I've got on now, which is why I justified it. Also because H&M knitwear is so inexpensive. To be fair, this was really inexpensive. I think this jumper was like 35 pounds. And I think they have it in loads of colors, but I just fell in love with this pink, especially, like I said, on a day like today where it's just gloomy and gross outside. Literally, I've got the windows wide open and it's still gloomy. So, oh my God, it's really cute. The only thing is it's one of them ones which just gets fluff everywhere as opposed to like the one I'm wearing now. But this is it. How cute is this jumper? And it was not more than 40 pounds. And I would love to wear this with jeans. I obviously have to see how it looks on. The only thing is, as I said is, can you guys see the fuzzies? Isn't there like a trick where you put it in a freezer or something? I think that's a thing. But obviously, do we have time to do that? This is a jumper sweater. And I actually bought a similar one to this from and other stories, but I kind of want to compare the two and see, am I going to get more for my money if I get it from and other stories? You guys will see. I got loads of basics. I just feel like I don't have any more good winter sweaters. So this is another, is this similar to the one I just showed you? I think so. This might be the identical one to the one I showed you in the blue, but this is the smaller size, which I think will fit way better. So yeah, I think they're identical. Yeah, 100% because the sleeve is exactly the same. So this definitely looks, this is the extra small small, just to give you um, size reference. So that's the gray version. This must be different then. Yeah, this must be different then to that one. This is another gray knit, but I think this is more like a knit dress. And it looks like, yeah, this is like the kind of thing that I would wear with leggings. And it's this jumper dress. I wasn't gonna call it jumper dress. I have to say offhand, the quality of all this stuff feels nearly identical to the End Other Stories jumper. Granted, H&M and End Other Stories are from like the same company. So you know what I mean? Obviously you're paying a little bit more, not in this case, because this was, like I said, inexpensive, but they feel really nice. They don't feel cheapy at all. So this is the jumper dress. Um, these are the kind of things that I wear a lot with like a leather jacket, for example. I really like the sleeve actually too. Um, I'm really fussy with sleeves, especially on jumpers, and then it goes long. So this is great for days where you just want to be cozy and warm and you don't want to think about your outfit too much. Is that it jumper-wise? Oh, that is it jumper-wise. Okay. I went to see my cousin the other day. She showed me a pinstripe blazer from H&M. This isn't the exact one that she bought. Um, but I bought it to go with a pair of trousers that I actually have from Mango that I haven't been able to find a matching a matching blazer for, but this looks like it might be a good fit. And it's just this like dark blue, which is exactly like what the trousers are, dark blue blazer. And I swear this was only like 15 pounds, I'm not even joking, or 17 pounds. It was so inexpensive. And I just thought, let me try it. Like there's not gonna do any harm. Um, it feels quite nice. Obviously it doesn't feel like super high quality, but considering it's not really thin or anything, and I got it in a size 10. Then we come on to a pair of trousers. I really did, um, I do this a lot because I, I do these videos and things and I just need like to make sure something fits. So for example, like that blue jumper now, I'm really bummed because I'm not gonna be able to show it on properly with like the look I wanted because the sizing's wrong. So I do buy a lot of like multiple sizes when I do orders. So I got this in two sizes and it's a pair of faux leather trousers that I've been dying to get because I love the look of faux leather trousers but I always feel like they're really hard to get the right fit but these looked really cool. These are from the trend section, which is literally my favorite thing ever. And I don't think they were super expensive. I think they might have been 50, but I really liked like the look of them. So this is them. They have a like seam there. By the way, they're faux leather. They don't really smell or anything. And the good thing is that they've got a little taper at the end. So they're not like skinnies, which I thought was quite cool. Like it was a little bit different. Um, I hope they'll fit because I think they'll look really cool with like, they would even look cool with like the blazer and the little jumper dress and the gray jumper. So I really hope these fit. I'm not gonna open the other size up until I try them on. I'm really pleasantly surprised with H&M's knitwear. I can't get over the fact that 
they all feel really really good I will obviously link everything that I showed you guys down below and I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I'm buying like basics and showing you guys that you don't have to spend a lot of money on them jumpers and winter wear can just get really expensive so I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to spend a lot so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought of everything down below and I will see you all in my next one take care guys bye